When we first started the Museum of the American Military Family, we wanted to include as many people as possible. We are not one branch, one generation, one era, one battle. We are the museum representing all military families back through the beginning of America. If you love a service member and you guys consider yourselves family, you're a military family. We wanted to do an anthology specifically about LGBTQ plus military families' experiences. And so to that end, I reached out to our artist in residence, Laura Belden, who is a Richmond-based artist, and I said, hey, let's do an anthology on the LGBTQ plus experience. We got stories from LGBTQ service members. We got stories from LGBTQ spouses, LGBTQ military brats and allies. We were really happy with the result of what we had pouring in. Shout is a fantastic anthology that tells first person stories of LGBTQ plus military family members, veterans, parents, friends, and it really captures some of the challenges and the importance of thinking about LGBTQ plus military family members and service members across the late 20th and early 21st century. It really captures a slice of U.S. history when things were changing quite rapidly in the U.S. military around issues of inclusion, diversity, and policy issues regarding gender, race, and sexuality. And Shout, the anthology, really captures a lot of different perspectives and angles from many different historical periods um, about what it was like to be a gay service member, to be closeted, to grow up in a military family and be LGBTQ+, or to grapple with issues of sexuality in military communities. And from there, we also launched an exhibit. And the exhibit was called Inside Out Memories from Inside the Closet. And that was a collaboration with a psychologist, Dr. Kyle Irwin, who worked at the VA Medical Center in Albuquerque. And he worked with groups of veterans to create painted shirts where the shirt was turned inside out so that it was a better canvas, it was easier to write on, but also symbolic of the experience that LGBTQ plus service members had. They had to often hide their identities and kind of live their lives inside out so that nobody could know the real them. And so that book, the anthology Shout, and the exhibit Inside Out received the very prestigious Cory Award, which is an award granted by the American Association for State and Local History. And we received that in 2018. And it was an amazing accomplishment. Our museum is very small, and this is a national award. And the first time we were ever nominated for an award, we received the top one. So we're very proud that Inside Out and Shout were the project that received the highest honor. Someone suggested to contact a small theater called Theater Lab. And the director there is named DJ Gray, loved the idea. He called Melissa Rayford, who is a director, a writer, an actress, and the three of us together decided, yes, we were in fact going to manage this project together and make it happen so it would be a full play. So Melissa used the Shout Anthology predominantly. We also used a few more stories because we had already started collecting stories for Shout Anthology too. So those stories were in archive, but no one had seen them yet. She did a compilation. So the stories are definitely a patchwork. They're all still true stories and she didn't change anyone's words. So when people come to see the play, they definitely recognize their story within a larger story. 
During one of the earlier readings of Shout, we discussed the experience with the actors after the reading. Only a few of them had military background. Some of them were LGBTQ identified, many were not. And it was interesting listening to the actors talk about their journeys to inhabit their characters as well. And so I think that Shout allows for all kinds of learning and growth. Actors always do research to take on the depth of their characters and performances reflect not only the life experiences that are written on the page, but the emotional truths that actors bring to their work. And we really can see how different kinds of life experiences can inform the play. And there are moments of connection and identification as well as learning and new understanding that really come from producing the play as well as being an audience member. After the play, a young person came up to me with their mother, tears in their eyes, and said, thank you so much for making this play. This play is the only thing that, that I have ever seen that is close to my life. And they expressed that, you know, it, it put into words things that they couldn't really share or didn't have the words for yet um, as a young person. So that's when I knew this was really worth it. When Cersei and Laura approached me about producing some sort of curriculum guide or information packet, I knew we needed more help. Erica Chu was completing their dissertation at that time and is a fantastic teacher as well as a military brat. Bringing military audiences and LGBT audiences together can sometimes be challenging because they come from two different backgrounds, two different experiences. And so a curriculum guide is gonna help bring those two communities together in the production of Shout. Erica produced a curriculum guide that gives us the history, concepts, terms, and culture of LGBTQ history, as well as U.S. military history and culture. Shout was planned to be performed in Rhode Island in 2020 at Pride, but then COVID hit. And so Deb Kohler suggested that Shout could be done as a Zoom production. And, and we hadn't considered that, but thinking about how the play is set up as a support group, it made sense, especially with all support groups currently going on Zoom. But what also happened about that time is we had an administration change. And so the policies that had been put in place by one administration were now being revised, overturned by a new administration. So we quickly reflected that in the script. So the script is up to date to current administrations. So not only did we rethink the play as a Zoom, we rethought the curriculum and updated the curriculum, and we updated the script. The Zoom production was very well received. It was directed by Herb Hall out of LA and Jermaine Alexander, who's a filmmaker and an actor, he edited it and the finished product was beautiful. One audience member told me after they saw the Zoom performance that they did not realize that these were actors. They thought that they were watching a support group where the participants had agreed to be taped. And it wasn't until the credits rolled at the end that they realized that it was a theatrical production with actors. They really felt drawn in as if they were part of a support group because the script includes not only LGBTQ service members and veterans, but also family members. Anyone can see themselves as part of that group. What we hope to do with Shout is multi-leveled. If you go to militaryfamilymuseum.org, you will see the Shout page. And on that page, you will not only see Shout Sharing Our Truth, the anthology, which you can purchase separately as, as a book, or you'll also find the script that is for lease and 
two filmed versions, one of a full play and also a Zoom version. We also have an educational package and all of this is available to the public for a minimal amount. We wanted to make this package affordable to all. We're talking with people in Rhode Island, in Oregon, in Virginia, and we want to shout all over the world. So please contact us. <laughs>